Hi guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. So I am on here to start my first training with my team and I'm making a series of videos um, starting with Instagram, then I'll move on to Facebook, um, things and tips and tricks that I've learned since joining um, last year in February. So it will be a year next month um, that I've been in it works global. So I personally feel that I have done enough to where I can share with you guys what I feel works, what I feel doesn't work, what I feel you should be doing on a daily basis, and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, Instagram because I feel like Instagram is the toughest, toughest one, and it took me the longest to understand anything about Instagram. Um, from them telling me not to have it works in my bio to um, just keeping it super clean. And I didn't really understand that because I thought I'm supposed to be sharing my business. Like, shouldn't it be all over? Like my website and, um, you know, it works and number and, and all that good stuff. You know, you think the opposite of what Instagram should be. You really think the opposite of it. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is what it should be you don't think that's what it should be. Um, you definitely think that you should have it works in your bio. You think that even having some profile picture be about a rap and um, just posting about it works as much as possible. You think that's what Instagram's about. So I'm gonna go over um, the most important things about Instagram. And then I, like I said, I'll be touching on Facebook and different videos. And then I'll go from that to hundreds lists, importance of hundreds lists, steps of success. And I will also be going through a ton of notes that I made in 2000, this whole pile. Um, they're all from all over my house that I found. Notes, videos, I stayed up and watched all night. This little pamphlet is also full of notes. Um, so I kind of just wanted to put this on videos for you guys. and give you guys the most that I could out of all the notes that I made throughout the year. And also have it for myself. So. First thing that I'm going to start with here, I'm going to bring out my notes because I don't have them ready. So, Instagram. Um, like I said, Instagram is super, super tough. First of all, you want to make sure that you're building your Instagram daily when you first start off. If you haven't had an Instagram yet, you need to get started. You need to make an Instagram. Um, you need to like I said, make sure there's no it works in your bio. You just want it to be like really just about yourself. You want to have your name, original name. You want to have no it works in your bio, just stuff that you love overall. Um, and my preference is to have it blocked. Um, one reason is I want to know who I'm following, who's following me. I don't want just other random it works distributors or just really anybody that sells anything on my profile. I really try to keep it clean when it comes to that. Um, I don't want anyone taking my followers and all that stuff. So that's why I keep it blocked um, and private. So I know when they request me, I'll know if they're a distributor. If they're not on my team, I do not approve them. I keep them off of my Instagram. If they sell something already, I keep them off unless I know them personally and they're a friend, then I leave them on. But if they are just some random, unique, Mary Kay, whatever, I don't approve them. Because my goal is not to find people that already have a business going on. My goal is to find the people that don't. Um, it's really hard to get people that are already involved in another business to jump into your business. And not only that, if they do, they might not really be, really be that dedicated because they have so many other things going on. So I look for people that only want to do it where it's that haven't started any other type of um, network marketing business. And um, so those are the reasons. So my preference, have it blocked. Um, have a nice picture. Let it be of yourself. Um, you want people to see that you're a real person. Um, you know, pictures of your kids and stuff like that is fine, but try to avoid big group pictures or pictures of a lot of people. You want people to know who you are. Um, so... That's super important. Um, make sure it's a nice picture. Um, that always gets people to want to request you. Um, another thing is posting often. I'm just going to read through my notes. They're not really organized, so I'm sorry, but I'm just going to read through it. So posting often is so important because Instagram does not work like Facebook. Um, on Facebook, people like our statuses and all that stuff. So 
Well, what happens is when someone likes her status, their comments, it pops up right back in the new feed, it kind of flips around again. And on Instagram, that doesn't happen. On Instagram, you have to post often for people to actually recognize you, recognize your pictures, who you are, your story, your profile, whatever. So that's why posting on Instagram, you have to post at least every hour, every one to two hours. I stick in between that time range. I try not to let it pass besides the nighttime. And as soon as I get up, laying in bed, I make a post because of that reason. I want my pictures to keep going through Instagram and I want people to notice me. I want to get more followers and more leads. So posting often is super important. Make sure you're taking notes because this stuff will be hard to remember. You want to get the app to unfollow and follow, sorry, to unfollow people. You can also use it to follow. Um, I have Crowdfire and it also looks up certain categories of people for me, like medical health um, or whatever, whole food store, like I look up those people that have like whole food, stuff like that. But mostly the app should be used to clean up your face. Just leave it super clean and not have just people that are not following you back or people that don't frequently even get on their Instagram on there. So that app will really help you unfollow all those people. So what I do is I go through every few days um, and I use the app to unfollow. Every day I go through and follow, but like twice a week I will go through and spend the whole day just unfollowing. And um, so I unfollow the people that don't follow me back um, and I can show you guys the app. Um, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it on here. But this is what it's called, Crowdfire. Oh, you can't click it. Let's see if I can turn on my brightness. Okay. So it's called Crowdfire. And um, it's orange. You can see the little crowd. This one right here at the bottom is my Crowdfire. So that one, um, there gives you a bunch of options. Um, and uh, so you have fans, publish, those are when you preset apps. Okay, the one thing about presetting your apps on this app is that it won't post them, but it will remind you. So if you're super busy like me and you forget to post sometimes, that's a good thing to use because it will send an alarm and it'll remind you. What I just normally have is an alarm on my phone. Every two hours it beeps and it tells me to post. So I remember if I have or I haven't. Um, it has other cool stuff, recent followers. Um, copy followers is the one you use to go find people, like a, a type of category that you want. Like I said, Whole Foods. You can put Whole Foods in there and it'll take you straight to Whole Foods and the people that like that store. That might be a category of people you want to look for because those people look for all natural um, products or food. And so also health, um, those are all people that you want to follow or have follow you. Um, I don't really worry about the admirers or friend check. I mostly use non-followers, and it's right at the top. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says non-followers. That's the one that you want to click to unfollow. So it will tell you how many people, well, for now it's not telling you, but you can literally just unclick people, in this little arrow, and it subtracts those people. And those are the people that are not following you back. So I do that every three days. Twice a week, and so that day that I unfollow, I just unfollow all day. So I don't get distracted by following. I do that the whole week besides the day that I unfollow. So just get it organized. Um, put a plan together that works for you. Another thing is you want to make sure your pictures are super nice on Instagram. I know um, it can be kind of hard if you don't have the right apps and stuff like that. So definitely find apps that you like for editing. Make sure your pictures just look bright, pretty. Um, you can add like litter, whatever. There's some apps that do that too. Do that if you can. It just gets people's attention more. The better your pictures look, the more followers you'll get. Um, so that's important. Now another thing is engaging with people. You really want to make sure that you're engaging. You are um, forming relationships with people. This is the one thing about Instagram that's also super important. Um, you want to make sure that you're going, if you're going to someone's profile that you're interested in, maybe joining your team or you just want them to notice you, you want to make sure you're going on there and you're liking at least five photos and you're also commenting. And when you comment on a picture, it's important to comment a question, something that they can respond to you, because that's how you're going to form the relationship with them. Not just you look pretty or something like that, because you're, a lot of people can say you look pretty, but if you ask them, oh, where did you get your person so cute? Or, 
whatever, I just asked the girl, what kind of dog is that? She had a dog on her thing. So I'm engaging with an answer back from her, so it's gonna form more of a relationship with her, if that makes sense. So this can be really tough because you're probably thinking, like, I'm not gonna go and like so many people's profiles, like I don't have the time. Really, it's not that hard. It only takes like two seconds. So if you're working your business on Instagram, and I know it can be hard to work Facebook and Instagram, but if you are working your business mostly on Instagram, it shouldn't be that hard. Um, so like I said, since mine is blocked, so followers can't follow me back like random people, it requests my approval for them to follow me. So at that time, that's when I'll kind of scan through their pictures and I'll like pictures and I'll see if it's someone that I really want to join my team or something like that. And that's when I'll go in and I'll like a bunch of their photos and I'll comment a question. That's going to form a relationship with them. And then I just wait for them to like something of mine and I'll message them um, on Instagram. So, like I said, there could be 40, 30, 20 likes on a photo. You kind of just want to scan, you want to scan through people and figure out who you want to message. I don't message every person on Instagram. I message every person on Facebook that likes my photo. Only girls. I don't message any guys. Um, but on Instagram, I don't message every person that likes my photo. I will... Um, go through and just kind of see who they are and see if they're stay-at-home mom or single parent or whatever I might be looking for. I'm a college student or something like that and they like my photo. I'll definitely take the time out to message them. Just thank you for the like. Would you be interested in learning more about my business or would you be interested in learning more about the product? I know this could be really tough and kind of scary and you don't really know. Just think of it like there's only three answers they can give you. Maybe yes or no. And when I thought that, like, in my mind, I wasn't scared anymore. And really, people don't really, like, say anything. They just either say yes, no, or thank you, no, I'm not interested. So, you more, you, for me, I've gotten more yes on Instagram than I have no. So I've gotten more, yeah, I would like to know more. Um, so, that's good. So, that will be another lead um, for you. So, don't be afraid to message people. Cold messaging is super scary but it's also you're reaching out to people and sometimes people won't reach out to you so you never know um so don't forget to do that and then i already said no it works people keep your account private it's my preference um follow the s rule if you don't know what to post just follow the s rule which is family friends i do family friends fun finance um that's what you want to be posting throughout the day. You don't want to just post here, it works, because you don't want to just spam people that it works. So that you're going to annoy them, and they're going to unfollow you, and they're going to block you. It's really going to be pointless. So I know. I don't know if you guys seen those accounts where they have the big cross, no, it works, no wraps, no whatever. That's because those people have had a bad experience. So people don't want to follow someone just to see a bunch of spam it works posts. Like you're trying to get them to buy something. They actually, when they get to know who you are and they see you're a single mom or they see your stay at home mom or they see you, you're married with five kids or whatever, like people like to see real life stuff. So if you're posting your daily things, like your, your things you're doing throughout the day, um, your family, your children, your food, meals, people love food, self food pictures, people love selfies. Um, Remember to include all that. Food, fun, fashion, and family. That's what I have written down. That's what I follow. Um, whenever I can think of what to post, I just think of the S, and I think of the what can I post, you know? It's just a simple way to remember. Another important thing I feel like people forget about is we are a part of it with School Home. This is an amazing company to represent and to be a part of, but you also, what I really have been wanting to do is brand myself. Um, Scan has completed. I Warning. Advanced Matte Cleaner has detected issues that need your immediate ah, attention. Click sorry, on Clean Now to fix these issues. Um, okay. Sorry guys, my computer has a virus supposedly and it's a Mac, so it doesn't have a virus, it just has some pop problems going on. But anyways, so I don't know where I was at. Oh. So yeah, like I said, it works global is an amazing company to be with, and it's just an amazing opportunity. I don't think I've ever, ever known another company that offers as much as it works global. Like, I have joined a few other companies, and it was just 
like getting to where I wanted to get would never even been an opportunity for me with it works. I really feel like it's possible and I know it is and I know it's going to happen. So it's an amazing opportunity, but you also want to remember like that's why I say don't spam Instagram because people just get annoyed. What I call it is really just branding yourself, showing people who you are and um, whether you want to say you're a health coach or um, healthy living coach or maybe just an inspirational coach or something like that, brand yourself. Think of something that you love to do and share that with people because that's going to catch their attention more. I want people to know I'm Taina and I really enjoy helping people with their health. I don't want them to just think I'm Taina, but it works for all, you know? Um, so I really try to share my passion for that and I feel like it pulls people in more. Brand yourself. So figure out what you love. If you love motivating people, write that. Motivational coach. If you love inspiring people, quote, inspirational coach. If you love just helping people with their health, a health coach. Brand yourself. Talk about things that you love. And you will attract a lot of new people on Instagram. Um, so that was my super Instagram tips. Um, I hope that that helped. I hope you guys took notes. And if you guys want everything that I just talked about, like written down, I kind of have notes of it. So just message me and I'd be glad to get it to you. But like I said, don't be afraid to message people because it's really going to boom your business more than you could ever imagine you know if you think about just letting people come to you every single day you might not grow as fast it might take you a lot a lot longer so if you really just work on reaching out to people you will get some amazing people to join your business and your team and you know it will be awesome and the more you do it the easier it will get for you so yeah i hope you guys have a great night and i hope you guys enjoy steps i will be back next week with a Facebook training um, things that I've learned like I said I don't I mean I don't do everything perfect but I have learned a lot in the last year and so I really wanted to share that with you guys I hope you guys enjoy it